I would look up uh, university study. Okay. And I would look up international organizations, like recognized international yeah. organizations. Greenpeace, maybe something like that. I would, yeah. Well, Greenpeace. Even I like Greenpeace very much, really. Uh, but Greenpeace is also not unbiased. So maybe information is also. That's the problem in, in getting information. Uh, I mean, ExxonMobil or those big companies really finance so much programs and, and sites within the internet where when you're looking at first, you never expected that ExxonMobil is behind the site. So that's the problem. How you trust, and I guess the, the way of signing Sian is uh, right to, to really go into in, or ask or check uh, university um, information because they often unbiased their research and, and yeah try to be forcible and all these stuff. I like to call these people often. When I have time and I have a phone next to me, I call the people um, where a company is and I ask them uh, how they got the information and all this stuff. And often they are not able to give me the information because the site is often made from, from other companies or other people. So it makes um, me often more secure that this site can't be that uh, yeah, trust, trustworthy than it seems to be. Actually, okay, what, uh, what I would try and what I'm doing also when I'm uh, researching any information of course, I mean, this is not, if it's very like scientific information, it's not a big issue, but it's a political information that there are many different views and contradiction, uh, contradictional views, then it's a challenging thing. For example, something uh, happening in Turkey about the Kurdish issue, so then it's like a mess. Everybody is saying a different thing. So a bomb explodes somewhere. And some says Turkish government did it, some says PKK did it, some says Al Qaeda did it, you know? But somehow we need to get the right information what's going on. I think it is impossible really, I mean, to, to get the true information, or it's very difficult to get the true information. But what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to firstly analyze who are the parts of this issue. So if we are talking about fracking, who are the parts? So there are companies uh, and there are NGOs working on it, so there are universities making research on it, so then you can check. There are also the people that have already experienced tracking. Mm -hmm. The people who it's happening to in their area. So this goes to maybe social media as well. Mm -hmm. Because then you're just getting the information directly from the individuals. But that has also a lot of risks. Because we, we, we had this during Gezi Park process. Social media was a very effective tool, but on the other hand it was a very dangerous tool as well. Because people were tweeting a very unrealistic uh, uh, tweets, inf uh, news, informations, that which makes people really fight each other. You know? mm -hmm. Then what to do? You need to really stop take a brief and have some time to have a look at different parts. And yeah, and also we can add this to people, individuals from social media, from Facebook, from Twitter. I think, um, not Google, but uh, what was the Russian one? Yandex. Yandex has an option searching in social media. Am I right? Huh? Yandex has options searching in Twitter and Facebook. Is it? I don't know. You don't know? I think I heard something like this. Maybe we can try it. Oh, with these sites, I would also check their references. So, to see which does the website from ExxonMobil use peer-reviewed university studies? Does this website use peer-reviewed university studies? But also, sometimes with peer review, you have to be careful. Because our in Ireland, our Environmental Protection Agency did a study on fracking. And they, they referenced a, a university peer-reviewed study from the University of Texas. And later, it was discovered that this study in Texas had been carried out by somebody who has shares in a fracking company. Yeah. And the results of the study were wrong. But it was from a university, and it was peer-reviewed. So even sometimes you cannot trust 
that information. Any more, any more ideas? Okay. So, uh, yeah, so we what I would do, so I would go to fracking, I would go to Google fracking, and I would look at the first results. But oftentimes these are very powerful websites and very large. So at, at times there are things, there are hidden gems. So what, what I would generally do is, okay, I would look at the first, first results of page, but then <coughs> if I don't find enough information for me to create a bigger idea, instead of going fracking and adding something else, I would go to the next results of page. So I would go to Google and keep on looking on the second page, third page, fourth page. So I would keep the fr uh, looking for fracking, but going to the next results. Mostly people, when they don't find something, they uh, specialize. So fracking problems, fracking uh, issues. And when you do a search like this, it's already biased. But when you go to second, third, fourth, fifth page, you find out information which is still important and still relevant, but overall, and you, it's easier to have a balanced idea. Uh, but in this case, so I'm looking about fracking, and I got this. Um, so to me, how, how I perceive it, I got this. Some, some, sometimes companies tell, tell me it's okay to do fracking, and sometimes there are other institutions who tell me which it is not. So in a case like this, what I generally do is Google like this. So type fracking hoaxes. And hoax, um, are you familiar with the term? Yeah, trick. Trick. So it's it's a false information which is made uh, appearing real. So that like that George Bush with the inverse, that's a hoax. So they made fun of George Bush and oh look, uh, okay, but it wasn't real. But it propagated and it was very viral. So a hoax is something which goes, oh look, this is popular, it's very hot, but it's actually false. So when you are typing something like this you find that information about the term which was proved to be false. So when typing this, I, only, I also get the Chevron link. So this, okay. So most of the times when people put ads or institutions, they, have, uh, they want something out of it, they get money. So how, the question comes, how, how do they get, what do they get from putting an ad on this Google search? So you have to ask yourself this. So by typing tracking costs, I get all of these four results referred to um, false affirmation someone made in a movie. So they made a movie against fracking and uh, the director put the false affirmation and all the first four are about <coughs> this. And then there's this another link which says, okay, those anti-fracking people have these top five wrong arguments and they debate about this. But still on the first page, then there's this result which tells you, okay, these are the problems of fracking. So, if I would type uh, Hoax, George Bush uh, photo, I would get a lot of information which will tell me, okay, this photo is false, this photo is false, this photo is false. I will get a lot of information which will uh, show me the, the bad information about the photo. When I type this, I get like imbalanced information, but all of the five uh, informate the first four results were referring to a single error made in a movie. So I think this is, to me, this is pretty <coughs> balanced and okay, I can trust both sources. Okay, thank you. Do you have any question? Huh? Anything to add? I think it's something that would be really useful for particularly people who are like maybe say 14, 15, 16 trying just beginning to enter social media. I think it would be a really good tool for them to support them with understanding what's real, what's right. Um, there are ways to make your website come up quicker in search results and also Google